CK3, EO4, Victoria 2, and then finally culminating in Hearts 1 and 4, because number one, Vicky 3 does not exist, and Stellaris, I will just pretend does not exist, because it doesn't make any sense for a Mega campaign. No intrigue! That's not gonna work! <laughs> Thomas Safarik, the Duke of the Ducci of Tuscany. Let's become a friend of the Pope. 99%. I like to see that. That was way too fast for my liking. Twins! And both daughters. That's great. Very good. Yay. Polish scholars have long devoted themselves to the study of... I have learned much from the works of Al Savrali and Ibn Zina. I don't think those are Polish names. We are friends with the Kaiser and the Pope. We are probably the strongest person in here. 40% chance to seduce the Kaiser. Hey, Duchess Inga is Bregas again. Maybe this time it's gonna be useful. What's wrong with you? That's just a Polish Muslim. The servants run across the hall, bringing the final decorations. Some of the guests are yet to arrive and I indulge myself with a delicious drink by the fire. There's no place I'd rather be. I can't wait to go home. <laughs> Mood! You really couldn't have chosen a better font. That's a fucking video card. Okay, well, yeah, I wasn't interested anyway. Another feast! Jesus! I suppose that's the king lifestyle. Chill the entire time. Eat, drink, a little bit of war. Finally! You shall be known as Thomas II the Second. Oh, and you're even quick. I didn't even try to switch. We aren't even friends, right? Oh, he's scheming to seduce us. Well, you are a man of God. Da -da -da -da. That's not part of Italy. I'm a moron. It's a stupid one-legged poet. Jesus, what are those stats? <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. I suppose somebody like that would have been objectified. Uh, I mean, that's not a friend, but I'm gonna take it. 100% chance to Romans the Kaiser. Yeah, let, let's just go with the gut. With 100% chance, what's gonna happen? The soldier fights valiantly, but I disarm him with a final flawless thrust. Did I pay him off? Wait, I had one. I had 100% chance. The game lied to me. I thought I could just pick whatever. XCOM trauma renewed. This is piece of kingdom of Italy, which does mean the kingdom of pasta. Finally, as king, you have new duties. <laughs> duties. <laughs> And responsibilities. Yes, let them see their co- Oh, look at that, our beautiful courtroom. That's definitely useful. 67 years to repair a hide. What kind of hide is this? I'm getting scammed here. Yes, that was what I was waiting for. Yes, vassal, vassal, vassal. Because now we are Italy. We have the sure on all of this. Scrape the barrel. That's a reference, I love reference. Pet the cat. He is a trickster, so good things come in small packages. Morsel of sand tape. Thank you. Ah, wait a minute. This is an opportunity, but I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, eight years. Uh, maybe it's just gonna die of a heart attack or something. Another daughter. Seriously, what is wrong with you? Daughter, 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 son. That looks like a daughter. Daughter, that's femgirl. A gift fit for my wife and queen. You're the second one, so no. 3,000! My brother in Christ! I'm in a civil war because of this. Oh, not a cold war! Polish Muslim gets trunked. I don't really plan on using you anyway, so... Uh, okay, uh, let's, uh, let's... Norway against these guys. Sure, I'm gonna help you. Pay ransom for your daughter, Queen Thomas... I'm only surrounded by incompetence, and I'm one of them. How did you get captured? Your war contribution, 22%. Okay, now I can piss off. Oh god, there's just 5,000 people here. Honestly, I think we just have to give up. Autonomous vassals is not that big of a deal, honestly. Especially, you know, we can immediately just pass the law again. There we go. That war was pointless. I can spot- Welcome to the world. Backup plan. May you grow strong or die, I don't care. Ah, spoken like my father. Oh, a crown! Yes, of course, I want a crown. Already do have a crown, somehow, but I want a crown. Homosexual. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I'm a homosexual, that's not my kid. Oh no, that's femgirl, okay. Drenched in excrement. Oh, gains overflowing diaper for two years. Oh god, her diaper hasn't been changed for two years. But I mean, six court, Grandor. And she's the sixth child anyway, so... Oops, I accidentally clicked. Timeth! <laughs> okay, fair enough. What is this? What is this? 
fine. She shall be called Crusader Kings 2. Second in line to inherit the HRE and first in line to inherit Kaiserslautern. Kid, congratulations, you are now a duke. Hey, it's our stupid poet again. He was weak-minded, right? Leg sweep, catch the movie the gift giver. Two gold. Woo! Let's go. Two gold, I'm rich. There we go. We shall get the duchy and the grand city of Pisa. Daughter would be pretty good. She is a Polish Muslim, perfect. She's a drunkard, which uh, can be dangerous, but hey, that's perfect. This is you allegedly. <laughs> he will bleed in the moment when to buy a new carpet. Which carpet? Those are not glasses. What is she wearing? Back in my day, we used glasses for seeing. Not to look like a science experiment. You're a death doorstep. Okay, within a year, we shall. Uh, okay, never mind. We have played 36. Oh god, 36 years. I forgot that I called her Crusader Kings. <laughs> that was very confusing for a second. Wait, what? Crusader Kings reference? In Crusader Kings? What? That sounds absolutely cursed. A Muslim Russian. Fuck, I shouldn't have named my daughter Tomas as well. I could form a friendship with my daughter. She is pretty and quick, so. The Shield of Florence. Woo! <gasps> Byzantine Empire. Something's changed. I missed something with France. Oh god. The HRE is just gonna be huge. France, good ending. <laughs> <laughs> he, he got knights, that's cheating. But I have friends. Friends beats knights. Uh oh. <gasps> Let me be the Pope. Ah! Thomas the second, the second, the second died. At least we still have the war and my son and heir. You already know it. Thomas the second, the fourth. Oh, pet cat. Cats the movie too. They're also gay. Just everybody in my kingdom is gay. Thomas the second, the fourth of Italy. I hate myself. We have Thomas the two, the four of Scotland, but also Thomas two, the fourth of Italy. Both sons of mine. I don't think I really want to give you my my guy. But we would get an alliance that's insane. Sure. Oh, this is, this is gonna be... This could be dangerous. Now we just need claims. My injured son. Thomas II IV. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it up to the physician. He knows. Wait. My... <laughs> I just told my physician he should decide, and then my physician was like, yeah, okay, you decide. You're the professional. Is clinging to life. Uh, dramatic, drastic measures. And he comes of it. He died, which does mean we lost our alliance to Byzantium. This is the first time that I realized that the TK free texts do change. This is you, though you don't always feel like yourself. That's cute. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with Italy? No, you would not. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with Italy? Everybody just has their daughters and they're all sent away. I hope I don't have to take the Bavarian. Good. Anybody? Come on, we're in the Reich. Please, there must be a circle somewhere. Sure, let's marry the kid. Of course, he's incestuous. It's CK3. I do miss CK2 combat, man. That was so much better than CK3 combat. Now, give me the stupid duchy. Wait, 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 Okay, I was very confused for a second. I thought we became the emperor of the HRE because this guy is the Kaiser of Italia. And then I was super confused how this guy is suddenly my heir, but he formed Italy. We are free now. Oh my god, yes! Okay, now who do I have to siege out? Löwenstein. Although that looks to be just his allies. Seriously? Who do I attack now? We will free ourselves from your rule and the tyranny of your liege. That's bullshit! This is the Italy Battle Royale. Just the way the HRE was meant to be. Come on, just chase those three guys. <laughs> Finally! We caught him. 1000 fame. We get 1000 prestige. And... The new emperor. It is now up to me to lead the vast empire. My vassal prince Heinrich left behind. I stand before my vassals, adjust my new crown and smoke. Oh, the things that I will accomplish. But first we will pause. 69 in the world, let's go. Funny number. <laughs> wow, due to your obvious lack of piety, I have granted myself a claim on the kingdom of Romana. Bastard. Katarina Safarik got the kingdom of Jerusalem. Ha 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 ha. We got a bunch of gold, sure. 
<laughs> Just change the contract of this little kid. Our heir is now Prince Serafino, which is also the heir to the Kingdom of Scotland. Yes, it does all work out after all. Oh god, everybody just joined this faction. It's not looking good at all. Okay, we need to arrange a marriage if possible. Fuck, you already sent everyone away. And the Queen of Scotland is too old. We can't get any more kids. Can I send you hostages? Oh wait, he is a duke. Ancona, that should be part of... Romana, okay. If I just give the kingdom to somebody who likes me, let's say, for example, you. And the Pope wants a claim on the kingdom of Italy as well. Seriously, Mr. Pope? You are not gonna live for long. Okay, thank you for not pausing the game when I pressed space. Thank you, Paradox. I love this. Again? Okay, what even is going on now? Who at what we are? Here's a war. Here's a war. Okay, cool. Uh, now everything is just burning. How old are you? You're 23. Okay. So please just pop out 20 children. We need to, we need non-aggression pacts and alliances. A 10% chance to seduce. That's... Uh... I'm gonna send you some gold. Maybe that's gonna help. Can I gift you something? The crown of Safarik. <laughs> and now I can steal it immediately. <laughs> I'm just gonna steal it back. Surely she's not gonna notice if I have the crown again and hers is gone. You are in line to inherit titles. We can get Jerusalem. Ah, too far away to interact with. Come on. But surely I can pay somebody off to kill him. Oh fuck, now we own Scotland as well. Ah. <laughs> Everything is burning. You know what, let's just end CK3 here. You know, we're in a perfect spot. Italy has been fortified. We own everything. There we, wait a minute, there we go. We own everything. Italy is secure. And you know, it's just, yeah, it's just 300 more years that nothing would happen anyway with the AI. Another betrothed. You, marriage, two daughters. Okay, two daughters are not perfect because we still don't have a son, but we can work with this. This is Safarika. Throughout the ages, we lost the Apostle. Apo the cripple. To the handsome Emperor Serafino. Ooh, I called it uh, in the Liberty War against a few of your vassals. Sure, let me join. Seriously, at some point, you don't have a wall anymore that you can drill and hammer through. You die. What was that? Did it just get a heart attack or what? Five billion factions just popped up. CK3 just froze. I got so many factions that the game just crashed. Okay, we need to send this guy something that he likes. Do you like small children? Oh, he loves small boys, okay. It doesn't matter that I'm not playing Hearts of Iron. Paradox games still don't make sense. You becomes your friend. Thank you very much, Paradox. As always, when you play Crusader Kings, you get blessed with Skittles. Sweden is actually pretty strong. Denmark is a junior partner of Sweden, which I'm sure makes some of you very happy. We do have Femboyes in pretty much everywhere. Let me just quickly validate this. Okay, so we have one centimeter here and that's everything. Yep, sounds good to me. For this mega campaign rule set, we are going to ally the nations that we formed in the previous games and together we are going to end seek in Hearts of Iron until 1962, whenever this game ends. We are legitimately going to a world conquest, even if I will have to spend 50 hours in Hearts of Iron 4 as Jock, the Jingdom of Jerusalem. And we are in a perfect economical start. Nobody is here to threaten us at all. And there's certainly not big enemies around us. Uh, yeah, it's a perfect start. Hello, horse. Have you met my friend, the ocean? I would really like to ally. <laughs> If possible, like they are a pretty strong player near us. Meso, Meso is pretty good to rival as well. They should also threaten the Seljuks. Insult, scornful, get our PP up. Uh oh, Egypt claimed something. <laughs> Vassal, we're gonna force religion on you. Femboyism has expanded and then we can also just 
take everything from you. They're also gonna royal marry you. And then we can ally Bulgaria. And we could claim the throne of the Seljuks declared war in Egypt. Ooh, God, there's just too much to do right now. Oh, they would be down to transfer trade power. What the fuck? Are we that strong? Let's also get some favors from Bulgaria. Let's just make a spy network to make sieging easier. And now we can go in. We are just free to capture whatever we desire. Help, everything is burning. Should have just peaced out when I had the chance. I'm gonna peace out now. I'm a cock again. It just follows me into the game itself. Fuck you, Bulgaria. Why do I call my allies in? They just want my land. I'm gonna try this. Just send Bulgaria down here. Send my vassal up here. Haha! -ha! No! I guess that's all I can do. God damn it. It cost me 10 favors. Gold vassal and tradition. Okay, very nice. Not possible to send gifts due to point. And then vassalize you. Give me these things and return course to my new friend. The fanboy religion is growing. Just look at this. Anatolia is ours. Gold. Ducats. That didn't help at all. Oh, actually, I can offer you Minaxis. Haha. -ha. Didn't even have to send you anything. <laughs> I just annexed them. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Kaiser. Oh, you're from Swabia. Ich nix Persönliches. Did somebody say Kerwoche? In what kind of world war are you? Oh, uh, okay, they were in the trade league with Little Karna. That's why I'm not getting paid enough for this. I'm not getting paid for this at all. If I were to annex everything, just Greater Tasso and Chaldea, which I don't care. Okay, that explains a little bit. That doesn't explain how you got here, but that at least explains all of the wars that you're in. Wait, it's also all part of Greater Tasso. Oh my god, they are huge. Oh my god, we are dealing damage, but things are starting to get risky. <laughs> Konya. Konya suck my nuts. Bulgaria, why are you inting? I think I'm fine with that. Do I want to annex everything? Yeah, let's annex everything. Yes, we can vassalize you now. Oh god, Bulgaria. Where did my friend Bulgaria go? That's what you get for occupying this one province. Would you like to become femboyish? Thank you. Let's just build a few more corks. I like corks. We could become the defender of the faith. Sure. We have to convert a lot, so that is pretty worth it. Honestly, I'm gonna drop my ships in Crete. That's the safest spot. And then just call the Seljuks in. I hope they're gonna do something. Ah! Burning! Everything! Fire everywhere! Also, I forgot about my claims that I wanted to do. It's fine. Oh, that's Byzantium. A tribal empire. Mm. I wish I lived in more enlightened times, man. That's the second comet we've seen. Bulgaria wants an alliance, but do I want a Bulgarian alliance? Oh, no, no, no. I want a different kind of alliance. An Italian alliance. Now the Fembo Union cannot be stopped. I shall also demand curry from you. Oh, the Seljuks, they are getting weaker and weaker. I'm very sad to see that. Thank you very much. We're getting blockaded and Italy is just sitting there with their 80 ships. Oh, Osa! That's the country from, from Hoi 4. Ah, oh, it's so crazy. I can't believe they added that in EU4. We don't have manpower anymore. Okay, let's end the war then. Macedonia, Thrace, Northern Greece and Hulfagun. Oh, you are... Mm. What have you done? 999. Nine, nine. It is called ein Lapin. You wouldn't get it. Please don't explode, Italy. This is it. for being an OPM is being a little bit of a prick here. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of a bit, little bit, bleh. a lot of bit. You could even say a bite. Get it, it's a program. <laughs>
Eight ducats for this. That doesn't even reimburse the men that I lost. It's definitely fanboy hooters. I'll just have to play France in the next mega campaign. Nobody is ever gonna form France, which I'm sure makes many of you happy. But like, come on, it's France. For as much as we might meme about France, France is important for this game. Corazon is just eating. I need bigger allies. Yeah, Merlin. You know what, just go hunt for the seven cities. All of them, all six of them. Look at that. We have Byzantium, but it's not called Byzantium for once. And that is so much better than having Byzantium. <laughs> for colonizing, I don't care about Australia. Sorry, folks. I mean, can't. Sorry, can't. I don't care about Australia, mate. It's not gonna get better than that. Oi Kant, my favorite German composer. I would like to train my accents at some point. As funny as it is that I have trash accents, I also just think it would be super fun to have good accents, you know? Like then it's no longer ironically fun and it's like, ah, okay, yeah, this, this guy can make, ha <laughs> ha I hate the kind of humor that I have, man. It's just, hey, f follow me on my Twitter then you can get such banger tweets as this one. Actually, big brain. We can take Australia from the other way around. Once my subjects provinces. Why do you want... What are you gonna do with this one? You only have Canada. If they wanted Panama or... I don't know. Hulimapu. Then I'd be like, okay. That's a coastal province that they can reach. No. That's a landlocked province. They don't even have anything on this continent. War. What is it good for? Antioch. I called in Yemen, right? That's actually pretty good with Adal. They can deal with that. And by deal with that, I mean get eaten by them. Would you look at France? Can you see the difference? Because I can't, it's only been 200 years. That's not right at all. That was a custom game with a mod, with a custom world. I did that, that bottom text. <laughs> Peak comedy. France exists. We lost 160,000 soldiers. Oh, I just didn't think they would have 19 army tech because I was so ahead all the time and you know like they've not really done anything I really got cocky there just teach out the capital we are running out of everything oh god oh god it's requesting that you come to their aid in the English succession war against Sweden England so they would get England oh I don't see us taking this but sure I'm gonna join you man you're gonna lose Scotland now I would have liked to have uh, Angio, Angio Vina or whatever it's called, you know, Franco England. I would have liked to have it in this mega campaign, just because it's such a cursed country. Oh my god, the webcam. Why didn't anybody tell me? This thing is actually crashing OBS. Way! We're alive again. Oh, they finally formed Scandinavia. <laughs> the state will cost us 0.12 ducats and we get 0.06. We suddenly have 10k. Let's start spamming this. Do you... Honestly, re you honestly need me for this, huh? Yep. Uh, let's go for a bigger war then. <laughs> it looks like an HRE swarm. <laughs> oh, stack wiped. Oh, Jesus, my heart. It's just some random OPMs again, right? Do you really need my help here? Especially while I'm still busy here. Italy is so useless. This is not Hearts of Iron Man. This is U4. This game is taking so long. I've actually grown bald. We are getting to the final 100 years <sighs> which means in two sessions i'm free and then i only have to edit all of this <laughs> you converted to fanboyism that sucks i can't declare war on you that was a smart decision if i take them out i'll lose defender of the faith level three tuva that's tuva tanu what nah fuck that doesn't that's not right I don't have a truce with Yemen, but they have a truce with me. Italy. You're still at war with Brunei. Okay, Italy, you know what? I'm gonna put this on you. The chastity belt. You lot, just go hunt. Go fish. It's actually risky. Okay, never mind, they're idiots. Then let's get Milexis from Burgundy as well. At least to get our armies over to this location for no particular reason. Ho ho ho! It's gonna be a big war. And the looter is not happy about this because they're in debt. Attitude towards enemies plus one. Attitude, attitude towards, towards enemies, enemies plus one. Attitude towards enemies plus one. Attitude. 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 Oh, true. Hungry. I forgot about the hungry. Um, let's upgrade you. And uh, let's also build a level 8 fort here. I just hope that Italy will deal with this, because I won't. Oh, that was a good siege, which means we can immediately go to the capital. Yeah, Castile does have 400k troops. Oh my god, Hungary is carpet sieging, and Italy, you can deal with this. 
Yes, yes. <laughs> Just a casual 50k Spaniards. You want a piece out? You want a piece out? You want a piece out? Yeah. <laughs> was just a shot in the dark. Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. You should probably be able to take this relatively safely. Oh, stack wipe even. Can I offer you something? If it's just gold, I'm completely fine with that. A little bit of sieging usually helps. There we go. White piece, hungry. Hungry is out of the war. Which mostly just means I don't have to worry about this front and I can unseach these things. Next front! Don't really have manpower anymore. I'm perfectly fine with that. Just a tiny, tiny, small war for uh, not really a whole lot on the map, honestly. But we also just made your manpower go to zero. Yeah, we can. <laughs> Arabian missions? Sway the Pope? The Latin Empire? Shield of Christendom? Put it into the comments. Should I stay as the Seljuks or should I become the Christ No, wait. It just dawned on me that we are technically a Christian Arabia. This is probably one of the worst things I've done. We've lost 20k just in the siege. Attack, attack. You should arrive first. Perfect. One day difference. Just for reinforcements. Not that it really matters here. Oh my god, can you stop calling me into walls? Sure, I'll help you. I don't have a single army over here. Oh, actually, I do have an army over here. There we go. I single-handedly financed all of Andalusia. Castile, it's been fun. It's been real. It's not been real fun. Because I've been here way too many times. What's that other uh, restaurant from the US? Not Hooters. Um, right. Walmart. I wish I lived in more enlightened times, but uh, don't you worry, we will soon live in more enlightened times in about five years. Guten Tag, everybody. Today we are spielen a little bit of Victoria 2, one of my favorite games of all time. It is very good, and uh, we are going to continue with the mega campaign. Wait a minute. Uh... The other great powers, Scandinavia, Italy, Arabia, Burgundy, Castile, Hungary and the US. Most of them are not that surprising. The US are now free. England has been absorbed into Scandinavia. I did absorb Walmart into Brazil. They were renamed into the Arabian Grand Fanboy Republic. I don't know why. They shouldn't have that name. They should have Brazil as name. Because they have it here. Jesus. For a second I was like, wait, why does Italy have Canada and the US as puppets? No, it's Italian, US. It does seem I've been cured of my boldness. Wait, where did we get all of these slaves from? Guatemala is pretty much just a slave state. <laughs> There's just 90k non-slaves in the state. <laughs> what the fuck, that scuff, there we go. You are all promoted. Yeah, let's just get serfs out of our country as well. Oh god, I don't like the sound of rebels. Let's run for some Femboyan literature because we need to become a great power. I suppose the US is starting to manifest. Oh, factories! Yes, we have a factory, finally. And it's not making money. That's the Mexicans. Free Mexicans! Oh, I don't like that at all right now, what you're doing. We're friends, right, Central America? We, uh, there we go. We're almost at cordial relations. I'm gonna go for impressionism. More star mana. Although it's not really mana in this game. We're not spending it on anything. Aggression! Let's just work on Cuba for now, I think. I can also try working, try working, try and get Brazil. Salzburg. Salzburg is a major. Yeah, this world is, I, mm. I suppose Arabia is relatively big and Scandinavia did annex all of England. And Andalusia is partially westernized because it's Victoria too and the converter is sometimes just racist. I mean, non-European does not prefer Europeans. Does not prefer non-Europeans. There we go. What? Why did you create Gypsy Land? Am I gonna get monetized now? Wait, where, where's Italy? You're a secondary power as well. Free colonies. Free Arabian colonies are now Sedusi. I hate my mind. I hate my mind. No, go away. Free colonies of the Arabians are now major powers. Wait, Japan? War of Japanese submission. Yes. They're independent now. Still allied with Spain, that's fine by me. I don't really care. Restore order costs 59 points. Almost nice. Wait, I, am I no longer allied with you? Shit, I kind of counted on that. Uh, you? Fuck. Oh, the US is expanding. That sucks though. The Erfurt Union. Oh, oh my God, we did get Germany? Wow, <laughs> what the fuck? 
Looks like they're... Oh, they're not running. Great for me. Let's fall back a little bit here. You definitely need to regenerate. You can just stay here. Okay, you go in. You go support. You go support. Yeah, you're just gonna attack here. Kind of fine with me. I didn't mobilize yet. I guess better for the economy. We're doing perfectly fine here. Come on, get in there. Yes, we won the battle. I suppose right now we're winning. After everything I've done for these two nations, they're both a secondary power now. Just keep on cycling divisions here. They're actually gonna split up, interesting. Can I do something like this? Okay, nice, that worked. They're just sending every Mexican division in here. You could say they're not sending their best. And now I need to regenerate and... Pff, with what? I'm gonna send you here and you here. One by one, no. Oh. Let's not overextend here. We're still dug in, so we can wait a little bit. Uh, I might have waited a bit too long. There we go. We are winning, I think. 64 brigades versus my 87, so we are we are making progress. We are number three great power. All the battles are just giving us prestige. Yeah, just look at this. The next prestige, the most prestige, country with the most star points apart from us is... The Air Force Union with 117. I think we're getting to a point where they don't have anything to send in anymore. Those that are sending to the front don't really have any strength. Yep, we have definitely won this war. And I didn't even need to reload 20 times. Only like 5. That was a nice shuffle, but that doesn't matter. You will still be taken out. We have three great powers in South America. Did you ever think this would happen? Sure, you're called Central America, but come on. Oh no, reinforcements. Whatever will I do? There we go. Ooh, after a long and arduous journey, we have finally united all fanboys under our high heels. The only question that now remains is, Tanu what? Country changes to Grand Fanboy Republic. There we go. We are a nice shade of green, so we fit in with our other friends. Oh, wait, what happened to... Why, Why did you annex Albania? <laughs> also, we do have a fanboy flag. Cuba does not exist, but I can still piss off my rich strata, so I will do it. They're unscrambling Africa right now. And now I need to fix the economy of four different countries. Uh, we can also demob, very important. Canada would also like to be our friend. Sure, they're useful against the US. So we will be the protector of the Americas. Femboy in South America. I guess it's time for some RSI. Then again, I did choose this myself. I did give myself this course. I mean, HPM gave me those calls. Just download HPM, I can guarantee you it's, you will see all of this. Uh, I think. Uh, come on. I guess we're gonna be on our own. Arabian reactionaries. Huh? Please don't crash. Now I need to do all of this again. Ooh, that does not sound good. Socialist Americans. What kind of bizarro world is this? Militant socialists have enforced the demands in Arabia. <laughs> You're never catching a break. Crisis. Over Samoa. Haha! -ha! Over here? If you told me six years ago that I would know roughly where Samoa is, I'd be like, yeah, uh, good one. Two artillery pieces for this one. This is probably the worst part about Victoria too. Just all of the fucking micromanagement, man. Tierra Austral is... You are number 12. Also, what the fuck has happened here? This world is messed up, man. Even those factories that are doing good. Actually, Superman does good. Those factories do well. Victoria! Victoria! Hey, Arabian communists have come back. German liberation of Burgundian Elsa's Lothring. Oh, that almost sounds as. I guess in about 20 or so years, we should keep an eye on Europe. This could become a problem. Yeah, Andalusia has gone. After everything I've done in EU4, I cut most of this out of the final edit. I poured, I think, 60k ducats into Andalusia. I fought six wars for them. And now they're losing. It's just pointless. All of this is just a metaphor for existence, honestly. China is a barren wasteland. Ming has 15 million. Normally, uh, Ming has around 400. I just love that they're just sending divisions in. Not a full stack, just partially, every single time. They would be down for a peace deal, or I can get even more. More China! It's not really worth it, though. Yeah, let's just... I'll take it for now. Scandinavia has zero prestige! I don't think the AI knows how to deal with rebels. The ethnic union of Vedluga. Are you sure? I'll put that one in the lost and found file, okay? Pensions. I don't think pensions were good. Uh-oh. 
I should have gone for pensions. Nehme ihn. Ihn. And Australia has been formed. We now have three Australias. And <laughs> Australia has cause on this. Not even half of Papua New Guinea. Just on these two provinces. <laughs> that was almost a live stream fails moment. I almost chucked him. I put him down. I, no, I didn't put... I placed him on the ground. I really took way too long to come up with that. <laughs> come on. Arabian reactionary. <laughs> My baby. It just hurts. America didn't really manifest the way that you would expect them to manifest. <laughs> Castile is in the sphere of the US. The most important one. I do want the Senussi. I wouldn't mind Panama. Yeah, let's go. The dig in is just so busted here. <laughs> You're still sending in divisions. Half a million lives lost. 81 war score from just this battle. You already built Panama. Ooh, let me test it. <gasps> it works! Did I just build an irregular? What the fuck? What is wrong with me? Did you not invent communism earlier? Fanboy Hutus inventing fascism does make a little bit more sense than inventing communism, but like, you invented both now. Normal! It is time, my brethren. Cain calls. Let's purify them. But first, I of course need to fix my army. Oh, come on, I just restructured my army. <laughs> and now everybody's gonna die again. <laughs> you fucked up. Minus five from digging and three from gas attack. They're just gonna fall over. <laughs> I just love gas attack in this game, man. Ah, fuck, that's part of Gypsy Land. That's also part of Gypsy Land. And we could go in for four fires in the country. Sure, take it. I forgot I was the war leader. I forgot this happens in Wiki. Whoops. Irregulars? Number one. How did you get there? Number two. Why are you an irregular? What? You would still like to peace out. Well, yeah, we could, but uh, what about Saufunan? What's in for me anyway? You would still like to peace out. Well, but what about... Ah, oh, fuck, it's... <laughs> I did think it was Hunan, but then I was like, yeah, okay, there's also West Hunan, so, uh... Why does advertising give me education efficiency? I guess because people learn to read in order to be affected by advertisements? It's gonna be fun now. Don't miscount. I would never. This was not intentional. <laughs> I mean, I didn't miscount, I just... Symbols are hard. Like, when you have to put the shape in the shape that doesn't fit, it's so crazy that they make something like that for children. Fuck this. Macedonian nationalists have enforced the demands in Arabia. The Crusevo Rep... I legitimately can't believe this. I did not want Byzantium again in this game. I should have just sphered. Oh, right, I can't sphere Arabia because you have 20 million men. They're just playing musical chairs in Arabia. Thank God we live in such enlightened times. I think that's a war crime, actually, to use gas on civilians. Actually, then again, it's also a war crime to use it on soldiers. We only have 4% jingos. No. That's atrocious, I can't even take all of China. I wanted to do one thing before I turn off. Right, RSI. Great war experience. My favorite. Oh, Jesus. Cuban nationalists again. The Cuban nationalists, they don't want anything. They're just angry. I must have researched something. Super soldiers that can just stand on the water. Militant socialists. I didn't really get Jacobins this game, so... Militant socialists are the next best thing. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. <sighs> I was almost done with the first revolt. We've had first revolt, yes. But what about second revolt? Sure, we're gonna join against the Effort Union. Oh, uh, there we go. A great war against the Germans. I guess... I guess the US. Some action for us, at least. Oh, it's just... The Navy... Why did I build so many ships? Do you have Milexes for me? Thank you. I didn't think we would go into a Great War, so I didn't bother with setting up the proper army. Uh, well, they're gonna overrun Hungary and put 
potentially Italy. Probably shouldn't have called Italy in. They don't really have anything over here. They're even sieging out England. What the fuck? I mean, I mean, it's Germany in Wiki 2. Also this. Now that we are in a state of total war, the idea has arisen that Grand Fimbo should approach Effort Union's enemies to see if they are wise, but as all saying, go send me off a man who is my friend. Sure. Avad. Y yes. Uh, of course. The true enemy of Erfurt. Avad. Let me just Wikipedia this. Surely there's something there. Oh my god. Just because you're winning against Hung. Scandinavia isn't really fighting yet. And we're losing against... Oh, Jesus, there's so many Americans here. Ukrainian liberation of Scandinavia and Moscow. What the fuck is going on? Everybody's now getting attacked. Well, I mean, it's as chaotic as a great war. Right, uh, Africa, in case I want to... Scandinavia. Why are you like this? God, they're gonna reinforce again. 920 brigades. Why is Erfurt here? Scandinavia is losing to Ugria. Turkestan has spawned. The map looks worse than before. Coming into Wiki 2, the map looked okay. Just look at this. Actually, I can get in there. Rescue maneuver is underway. Oh, I sent the wrong one. That's why your cycle division's out. If I didn't do this, then I couldn't keep on fighting here. Shit! Actually, minus six digging. Doesn't matter what you do. You can't win this battle. <laughs> They're still reinforcing! <laughs> Second war of Italian aggression against... It is against... We've accepted a peace offer from... On the following terms. Why peace? Well, it is a World War One simulator, I suppose. <laughs> Kenya, Kenya wants a great war capitulation from us. No. I would really like to know where all of those Americans are coming from. <laughs> 250 war score. That was only one of these two battles. Probably 1.3 million casualties on the American side versus 115k on our side. Terrain is very good. Very important in late game Victoria. And that didn't do anything here. And another 1 million. 140 divisions here. And... You're just watching. We will just chalk this up. There we go. We have lost the Great War. We could have drawn this out, but our allies are incompetent. We can no longer rely on them and instead must look to other alliances. Like, for example, Femba Hooters. Also, tip, do not research market-determined exchange rates. You get more admin efficiency, which by this point you honestly don't need anymore. But also, uh, if you do research this, hyperinflation. Not good. What do you mean? This is a great, I'm a billionaire now. Just a shame that a slice of bread costs two billion mark. And I can't even afford the green screen anymore. I guess we can beat up the Endline Federation. Are you allied with anybody? That's a lot of allies. Sure. <laughs> Great war number two, let's go. Which does mean I can call in some incompetence. Wait, the third Great War? When was the first one? What is plan? Plan is mountain. Just like... <laughs> Minus three terrain, river crossing, and six digging. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen an Africa like this in a Vic 2 game at the end of it. Germany did unite, although it is looking as messed up as the Reich. Uh, we sadly watched Arabia, just a bunch of weird stuff like Australia. Can you just imagine that? Australia? I should show you two things. Number one, the map that the converter generated. That's it. It crashed. And number two, the map that I had to generate. This is it. We do have two factions that I generated. Beacon of Democracy, led by Japan, Puyi, the boy king, and also containing Franz Ferdinand. Nothing bad is ever gonna happen to this guy. And of course, the Grand Femboy Empire, the full Kemet, led by Oho Kekunen, the dictator. Honestly, like, uh, this could be the next Kaiserreich, you know? This could be Femboyreich. I think we can start with our focus. A very legitimate focus of Chinese Civil War. Uh, web... webcam? What is this? Oh! We do have help. The specialist is on the case. I would say that's better, but... Let's hope that doesn't... Uh, let's hope that did, did this, did this didn't mess up the audio. David Bowie is the Drip King. Just look at this guy. He's slaying in that outfit. Nice, we did get in a circle, man. We've pretty much won the war at this point. 
Italy is as competent as ever. There we go, we have liberated Hong Kong. Is that also something that we're still upset about or did we just accept it? Germany is at war again. I don't know why it says Germany. This is definitely not Germany. This is the Socialist Republic of Erfurt, as you can see, led by Arnold Hitler, the dictator. And we can go to total mob. Doesn't really matter that we're losing manpower now because we have 10 million anyway. No, Abad is gone. We're gonna have to save them at some point. How did you get here? How did you get? That's not even paratroopers, and the AI doesn't use paratroopers. Oh, they even have screening ships! For no particular reason, we are going to put our troops up here on the Chinese, bo uh, Chinese border. Japanese border. There we go. Germany has declared war on Hungary, which does mean they are also at war with Japan. Erfurt joined Volkemet. The Thuringia joined the Beacon of Democracy. The Republic of Transcaucasia joined the Beacon of Democracy. Germany is just gonna steam, I mean, Erfurt is just gonna steamroll the Thuringia, and then after that, Burgundy. I'm just gonna go in against Japan. Oh, 50 days. No, that's way too cool quick <laughs> i i'm not ready in 15 days i need more holdy boys let's check the supply map maybe there's something i can do to the problems up here i guess we can prepare this railroad and then immediately take kabarovsk somebody's just fine against burgundy that's not gonna work my friend yeah there we go oh god please don't justify against the burgundian cantons you really are just making the borders worse and worse every time. I learned from the best. Europe is now under control of the Socialist Republic of Erfurt. I need to go in right now. We need to pin here, you go here. Now that I think about that, it was kind of stupid to declare war on Japan. Because the Germans are just gonna get all of the land now. No, oh, thank you Byzantium. I still don't like that you're here, but uh, thank you for the weapons, I guess. And the Americans are going in against California. It's probably... <laughs> Okay, goodbye California. CSA joined... Not, not that kind of CSA, the other CSA. Joined Erfurt. There we go. One encirclement at a time. Oh, it looks like Erfurt is going to come in. I am a little bit worried about Italy here. 200 divisions, 150. They should be able to hold against Germany. Against Erfurt, sorry, against Erfurt. I don't know why I keep calling it Germany. This is obviously Erfurt. There's nothing German about this. The Japanese have stopped attacking us, it seems. Erfurt is going in against Italy. We are definitely gonna join the German-Italian war. Oh my god, Arabia is gonna fall. Uh, what about, let's consolidate. You also don't have any divisions up here. What are you doing? We are gonna need every last man that we can get. Canada is lost. We cannot afford to lose the Femboy Empire. Then this is gonna turn into a proper NC scenario where I don't know how I'm supposed to make this work. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a shame if that were to happen? Ah, Jesus! Ah, oh, fuck, I actually hurt myself. Door. And Italy is also getting pushed back. My entire alliance is falling apart. Oh, Arabia and Byzantium are too scared of each other. Yeah, Italy is gone. Casualties too. We've also lost Andalusia. You can't build AA in ally territory. But surely you can build radar stations. Yeah, I have not researched radar one. Okay, this is sort of risky. Supply is gonna suck here. <laughs> oh, we can get a cost dog. Yes! And you're all encircled. That is our cussy. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Oh no. Do not int this hard, America. Uh, femboy, uh, empire. Me. Oh, I did waste powerpoints. Powerpoints? I've used it in school once. They called it coding class. Now that I am a developer, I have not used powerpoint once. I don't think this was coding class. Then again, I am in Germany. So... Plugging a computer back in and back out, that is considered IT support. That's what I said. I don't have the divisions to defend the ports. And you certainly don't have as well with your 200 divisions. I don't know where they are. Encircled in Andalusia, it looks like. Wait, you are in a faction. Why can I not make a border? No, I'm in every war that you're in. <laughs> you're in? Okay, we have 10k RT. Wait, why do we have so much RT? 
Oh, Nimbro gave them artillery. That explains so much. They could have been dealing so much damage. Putting artillery in those divisions was a good call, it looks like. Yeah, but look at that. That's a lot of green. Now that I think about it, it is topical that Vidro Stolfel is not garrisoning his ports. It is historically accurate, so I can't even fault myself for that. Also, I will have to steal a navy from somebody because I sure as hell am not gonna build a navy with this tech tree. I can guarantee that. You fool! You should have knocked on wood when you had a chance. Let's just make a small push here. They're still a little bit busy. We just need to push America away. If they pour 400 divisions into America right now, the Fembo Empire will collapse. I'm actually doing this the first time in Hearts of Fallen history. I am going to build an actual navy from scratch. Except for, you know, this one destroyer that I stole. Oh, also we don't have an admiral. There you are, Wang Jin. Am I allowed to say that on? I can re request garrison support <laughs> yeah i definitely need it fall of tokyo look at that my navy is doing wonders it, it's working the americans are the americans are winning because of me very important take stuff in japan i do not want to invade japan late game again jeremy i will not give up iwo jima that is way too close oh my god i'm gonna get rsi now like this this is worse than Vicky 2 railroads. It's gonna take ages. On the one hand, I don't want to take the navy. On the other hand, I also want this game to end at some point. So we're just gonna put this navy here into your hands. Into Wang Dong! He's back! Wang Dong is back, boys! And you're also my army commanders. Why did you join? That was so stupid. We had a truce with Byzantium. Panama Canal has been blown. Why did you do this? Why did you blow up the Panama Canal? You're a fucking idiot. Sure, Germany might pull out 50 million men again, but I will have more than this. I have 41 million manpower on 9% of our conscription. We can still get 3% from women in the workforce. We can still get 20% more from scraping the barrel. <laughs> and the Swiss has been blown as well by enemies. Righto, boys, fall back. Arabia has doomed itself. It is starting. Get in there. Yes. Okay, we did it. Yes, yes, yes. We're fighting them back. Yes, we have our we have our main supply of steel again. Without Chagatai, we are screwed. So if Chagatai ever closes their borders, we will have to declare war on them and open an, up another front. But I think most of their steel is yeah, most of their steel is in the west. So the real Germans are here and they're running. I mean. Driving? 60% army stockpiles. You only have 90 divisions. How? What are you doing? We are losing South America. No, we have negative supply. Oh, the Suez Canal has been repaired by the Afortians. <laughs> that was about sending a message. They just repaired it in order to blow it up again. We have to open up this front. We have to break this egg to make an egg omelette. Very nice. Two Byzantine divisions, a few other divisions. I might need to go for the long game here. I will have to flip Orissa. Not fascist, but enough fascist. When I made a promise in the EO4 video that we're gonna end seek, I kind of feared that something like this is gonna happen. But I just wanted to be funny. I wanted to be the cool uncle for once, not a weird uncle. I'm actually using spies to flip somebody to fascism. I can't believe it. <laughs> You've repaired the Suez Canal again. <laughs> I bet they're gonna blow it up. I do wonder why the AI is always so shit when they're on your side. Arabia has done nothing except for join the wall in order to get destroyed. Italy, I will give Italy that much. There was no way they could hold on against Germany and Sweden on their own. And you are just getting constantly navally invaded. I will at some point strangle the guy that invented the Hoi for naval invasion sound. For the purposes of YouTube, this was a joke. This was not a threat, this was a joke. I think it's time for this. So congratulations, you have won this battle. And now we just start creating a billion fanboys. We are gonna need them. It's 1949. We've lost all of America, except for Argentina. We've lost Italy. We've lost Arabia. And uh, we've gained Japan. 
He really paired it again. That's just your pastime right now. Building candles and then destroying them. At this point, you don't really have anything to worry about. We are at the doorstep of Sweden, partially. I'm honestly impressed how strong the Orison defense thing is here. It's genuinely hard to infiltrate them. I also probably should have gotten psychological warfare. I don't think I can recruit Orison guys. I guess it's House of Iron. I am not particularly surprised. Four million men, where are you get? where are you, wait, did you find them under a sofa? Come on, please, stop getting captured, I can't even recruit anyone here. Look at that number go higher. Oh. I'm doing fine guys, I'm doing very fine, okay? I hope you're doing fine on this fine Sunday, I mean, uh, insert weekday afternoon. Uh, at this fine insert weekday, insert local time. I want to first encircle all of these guys. After that we can do an auto push. Well, we do have disencirclement now. There we go. I guess it is time to start pumping out a navy. Collaboration governments. That's a thing in this game. I completely forgot about the mechanics of this game. I'm building the Trans-Siberian Railway all on my own. The Trans-Siberian Supply Hub. There we go. We can... Yeah. You joined the Beacon of Democracy? That's is still a thing? Japan? How did you revive that one? God, it's so weird. There's Orison Divisions here. I'm, I'm not used to seeing my allies. Don't tell me. No! You can't upgrade the railways of your ally. Oh. I built that one. Why can't I just do this? Paradox. Just upgrade bottlenecks. One day I will find one of the Paradox employees and just knock at their door and then I will leave. Oh, they're all encircled. Ooh, we already overran like 30 divisions. <laughs> Boom. That was only 500k. Just in case the Chinese government is listening, invading Europe through Russia is not a very smart idea. You have to build way too many supply hubs and they took, take way too long. So uh, try another way, please. I mean, Dick move, brother. That is a problem. If they bomb us enough, then our war support is gonna drop. They're just bombing our war support to zero. There's nothing I can do about that. It's just we have too much land to defend here. Chugger is gone. Yes. No, Polagor. I have bad news for you, my friend. I have garrison divisions. No, oh, they're coming from every angle now. Oh my god, I'm starting to become the AI. 615 divisions. 73 million men. Uh, I don't know why I keep doing this. It's 1956 for crying out loud. And then I'm gonna send you over to the US because if anybody hurts you, then they are racist. And uh, there is not a single racist American as far as I know, especially in the 1950s. Like, it took me two hours to move through Iran. I don't think I'm supposed to push into those tiles. We just need to get air superiority back. Just air superiority. Ah, now I can create the Indian section. I don't need the Indian section anymore. You were at zero manpower already. You've changed nothing. You have the exact same number of divisions and the exact same deployed manpower. You just conjured 500,000 men at least from somewhere. Sure, compliance, but you only own Mexico. Oh, that was a lot of overrun. Yep, that was 1.5 million. Are you serious? Scandinavia, it's 1960. How do you not have a full military doctrine? <laughs> 113 million Zentralmächte dead. America is stuck on all adult surf because they don't have stability and they don't have war support. So they cannot go higher. They are the only ones left with only 1.6 million deployed manpower and 190 divisions. Hey, Melly. Realized that I was recording, huh? Want some attention again? Ah, just zoomies. 12.75 million deployed manpower. 1.2k deployed divisions. We do have 25,000 planes deployed. I have already prepared the naval invasion. We do have 100% collab government on the US as well. Honestly, I might as well just do it like this. And we're gonna have supply, pro pro supply problems. So I don't care. Just build whatever the fuck we need. Also, planes, please do something. There we go. That's more like it. What? 
That was nothing! I was preparing for a recording session of a few hours, at least. That was underwhelming. Well, we only got 370 states. That is all that the US has lost. I guess this is the Chinese fanboy, I mean, th that was the fanboy mega campaign. What was this? That was just sad. Yeah, we are still at war with Sri Lanka, but there's no way we can compete with them. They have a whole four divisions. They have 1000 convoys. Hey, what am I supposed to do against that? We can just reminisce this over what we've done. We've spent 30 years and two months in this game. Only took me 10 hours, which is a huge fucking surprise. 80 million. <laughs> casualties. I think my career profile is gonna be very skewed now just because of all of this. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I broke the record in the next game that I played?